And, you know, Matthew worked out two models for us. The place that was the model of the make and spend, you know, which is the general uh, model we all live with in the marketplace, right? Make money, we'll spend money, right? And that is negative, right? That is, that is a lie someone sold to us that will come to the marketplace to make money that will spend it, right? And maybe we'll save. Right, but that is not that does not work. I uh, someone wrote me this week or this last week, you know, telling me how uh, things have not been working for him, right? And uh, and I was just sharing with him, you know, about having a financial plan. We're still on it. He's yet to reply me on what his financial plan is. He probably doesn't really understand what I what I asked, but we'll, we'll walk through the through we'll walk through it. Right. If you don't have a financial plan, the same thing will say. If you don't have a plan to succeed, then you are planning to fail. If you don't have a financial plan, then you cannot make it financially. You're going to be. You have money today to blow away. Right. You need something to discipline you. You need something to set the, the track for you as to where you're going. If you don't have a plan, then you don't have a destination. If you have a destination, you'll have a plan. Right. If you if you don't have a plan, you don't have a destination if you have a destination you will have a plan right you cannot live without a financial plan don't let anybody deceive you right you need a plan to get to where you want to get to if you don't have a plan then you are not going to get there right so uh but it might have told us not to stay in that negative model of just making money and spending money and she introduced in all the book he introduced us to uh, what she calls the N, um, the N, grow and enjoy model, right? You know, and where uh, in any money, we, we, it's we work uh, doing something that's fulfilling and satisfying and we're able to be paid for that, right? right? And uh, we grow that money. We we'll look for how we can multiply, cause the multiplying effect on that money, right? And uh, we can then use it for what we choose to use it for, right? Something that will give us a sense of a fulfillment, right? Uh, our focus being that we're not being focused on needing, we're being focused on what we want, what we have chosen to do with our money, right? And that's key, right? You know, I did see a similarity in what she was talking about in the way our association with our money, you know, affects the way we feel. Um, to uh, time management, right? Still in COVID, teaches us the four quadrants in, in time management, and says that the, the quadrant we should stay more into uh, the one is the one that is run by what we have, um, what we have scheduled, right? And it says that our schedules should be you know, um, prioritizing, right? Uh, um, that is um, putting first, the things we have said is priority, right? You know, that is giving um, weight to our priorities on our schedule, rather than spending our time attending to emergencies, right? Emergencies are the things people push on us, right? Our priorities are the things we are planned for. If we spend our time on emergencies, then we we'll always, we'll always have emergencies because if we spend too much time on emergencies, then we don't have things for the time for the things that we call priority in our life. And the thing I don't spend time on cannot be priority of my life. The mere fact that I spend time on anything means that I've chosen those things to be priority. If I choose the emergencies to be priority, I will always have emergencies, right? If I choose to work on my priorities, it will reduce the emergencies in my life, right? The same way, if, we, if you don't have a financial plan, you're always going to, be, going to be in debt, right? Because you don't have a plan that 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 kills debt, as it were, right? Uh, so if you focus on, you know, just trying to meet, like you stay on the make and spend uh, core, uh, model, you're probably going to have debts in your, in your life, right? But I like, teach you, if it's real, the debt you have today, right? You have a financial plan and you go by your financial plan. Your financial plan will raise your debt and keep you in the positive, right? Those are like uh, parallels, right? The parallel of time management, 
the parallel and habit of or, or, or financial plan. It's also the parallel we, by which we were saying that the focus needs to be on the things you want, not the things you seemingly need, right? If I focus on the things that I want, my needs will reduce. If I focus on the things that I seemingly need, right, my wants will increase, right? Focus here is to be what I see that I have decided are the things that I want, things that give me joy, things that keep me fulfilled, things that meet up with the plan I have for my life, right? If I focus on that in enjoying my money, my needs will reduce. If I focus on the things that seemingly present themselves on me as needs, my wants will increase, right? <clears throat> so when we stay, live on needs, uh, right? Typically when we use needs like this, uh, when other things are controlling us, like we talk about following the Jones, Jones is right, because your neighbor just bought a new car, if you I need to have a new car, or someone, a friend just bought a house, oh, I need to have a house. You know, those are, those are things that come for people who have no plan, who have no vision, who are following the, playing the follow the followers game, right? Uh, and if you have a plan, then it becomes what I want, what I, as a, as, as a, as an act of decision, say I want, then I can plan for my want, not as if I'm being pressed up, that I need something, maybe <clears throat> just to look good, you know? So that's, that's, that's a summary of the whole book, right? It, it's just key thing is uh, causing us to be in control of our financial world, our life, you know, as a whole, right? Living from the inside out, having an internal locus of control, right? And, and not chasing shadows, right? The more of ourselves that we know, the more of ourselves that we can leave. If I know my money imprint, right? right? Like we talked about different financial archetypes, then I know the angels in my life, the demons. I know how to defend myself against the demons and to enable the angels, right? And we talked about all of those. You can find all of that on YouTube. Well, everything we've shared here is on YouTube, both in its original format and in broken down, um, broken down pieces also, you know. Thanks for spending this time reading this book. Uh,